Hey guys, Jared here at Midwest Mountain Hunter. Um, today I'm going to take a couple minutes here and show you the uh, Epperly Stock little big top with the paired with the F1 mainframe and show you how I have it set up. So let's just get into this. First thing I'm going to do is, is show you that um, I have the scoped rifle scabbard attached to the mainframe and then from there I have the little big top zipped on zipped onto it. Um, I'm going to show you that piece first then I'm going to take the gun out so that way we can get into the pack. So one thing I will say is if you have got a, um, a larger gun let's say in, and I'll actually say this is our bomber model and with the large scope caps and you got you know like a longer barrel I would suggest getting the um, sniper scabbard um, because that is going to ha it's going to basically bail out on both sides it's a little bit bigger and it would do a little bit better job of fitting a rifle of this size so I'm just going to set the gun over here that way we can get into the pack now like I said I've got the sniper I've got the uh, scabbard attached to it now one thing that I have been doing is, is um, knowing that uh, I may have the gun in or out or if I'm just kind of hiking around I can take this and still stuff it back up underneath and it gets it out of the way as you can see so now on the side I'm going to show you how this thing is hooked up all right you've got the three buckles that are from the mainframe now here on the side you can see that there's a zipper that runs up and down there's these attachment uh, hooks which also pair up with two loops that sit on top of the mainframe um, I actually take a couple of these little um, S B, uh, Biner uh, Night Eyes hooks and I've got a couple there too so that way if there was something else like um, I th oh I use that when I pair it up with the um, this uh, what are they called the two that zip together the bat wing pouches so yeah when I put the bat wings on I zip them up I'll actually take these and hook them to the um, to the poles so that way you know that zipper's not going to fall down all right so like I said I'll show you how I've got this little big top right now I've got my uh, butt pad hiking poles take that out still actually got some trash in there from snacks um, one thing that's great is if um, you were running a spotting scope spotting scope would fit in well here you can put your tripod on the other side um, it, the its bottom is big enough to where you could put a rifle in and then cinch it to the side as well um, I actually haven't tried it because I've been running it in the scabbard but if we were just wanting for demonstration purposes to check you could see that you could take this run it over and there's two buckle points you'll see that there's a buckle on the little big top and then there's a buckle that attaches to um, the mainframe so I've been running these actually to the mainframe just to make it a little bit more sturdy you could cinch that down bring this over the top of your scope if you wanted to cinch there and then you've got the bottom take that one run it in tighten that down so then if you wanted to you could run with your gun on the outside pretty easy take it back out all right so another feature is this bag as it's uh, as um, the big top also have this roll top features okay and when you do this it really extends the amount that you can put into the pack and if you were to do the, and then let's say you had it up high you could put some of your softer stuff if you were uh, hauling meat then from here there's a buckle that comes up and then it attaches so then you're able to anchor the load and pull it down that way so what I have, I've actually got some of my snacks sitting on top. I've got my vest. So I'm going to actually roll this down, hook it back up, and then we're going to go in from the front. Because this pack has two ways of entry. One, like a normal traditional loader from the top. Or it has two, it has, there's a large piece of Velcro. So you basically stick your fingers in. You get two front zips that come down. There's a stuff pouch here, so like right now, 
I had an extra pair of socks sitting there, so if, that way if my feet get sweaty, I'm able to do that. All right, getting into the front of the pack. I have been, uh, this year I just started, I just uh, tried these out. Um, you could probably use like a, um, a different kind of pull out if you wanted to, but I found these from Eagle Creek. I was able to get them in a, um, oh, I think it was a three pack because I had like an Amazon gift card. So I just used that money to buy some of these things. I think they were around, I think it was like 30 bucks for a three pack. And then I ended up finding uh, another one at uh, Sierra Trading Post. So, so far they're pretty handy. Um, like I using this one, like I said, keep, I've got like my Sirius in here. I've got some uh, puffy pants also. Uh, put that stuff at the bottom. Down here, I've got a pair. I've got some gators because um, a lot of this area that I've been in here lately has got some marsh and whatnot. Down at the bottom, I've got rain jacket. I also have my kill kit down here. I said I got food. There's my vest. All right, inside that is a hundred liter source hydration pack and it fits easily down in there. Um, here on the sides, you can see that there's pockets which work out really well for organization. All right, this side, I've got some uh, gloves, another little, uh, like I said, stuff thing. I think I've got like a um, balaclava in there, but I have been taking like my gloves and other things like that. When I'm not using them, I'll stick it in there. Makes it pretty handy just to know where you're, you know, like I said, keeping your stuff. Down here, um, I've got my possible pouch which inside there, I've got some extra gloves, um, some zip ties, I got fire starter, uh, like some small band-aids, uh, chapstick, and uh, an emergency blanket, stuff like that. Uh, I also have a Leatherman down in there. So I keep that down at the bottom of the pack. This is something that I'm not getting to that often. I've got, um, got a knife down in here. Other side, um, I didn't really use it, but I brought it just in case. This is one of those uh, Zippo hand warmers. Um, this is the Everly Stark uh, large rain cover. This is my hydration. Um, basically, I've got everything blue. It kind of made sense, and I basically just write water on it. Inside there, I have um, the SteriPen and then also uh, the Sawyer Mini in there. Um, this pocket up top. I actually have a little thing that I keep my tags, my wallet, and keys in. Just so that way I know where that's at. And I keep it up here so that way it's easy for me to access. So if I'm getting in and out. Um, this is basically a uh, just an electronics thing. I've got a battery charger. I've got extra um, camera batteries, um, headlamp batteries, and some charging cords for like phone. And uh, the uh, garment for the inReach. Um... Yeah, so like I said, and I've also, oh, on the side here, I have put two of the uh, small uh, padded accessory pouches on the side. This side, I have got a, uh, let's see here, I've got a headlamp in that side. Uh, other side, I've been uh, I keeping my phone in there. I also had this, um, I picked this up at Cabela's, but it was a, a camel bag, and I was able to whip, you know, basically string that through the molly webbing. And then I've got my uh, water bottle sitting in there. Um, I know it probably seems redundant having the uh, the Nalgene and the other one, but it is kind of nice too because they're for um, if I just wanted to have take a quick swig, or if I was having to purify, it's a lot easier to purify your water going you know with the uh, Steri Pen using that in the uh, Nalgene bottle. Um, yeah, so far I've uh, been pretty impressed with the pack. Uh, I was, I've used it, uh, I was using it bow hunting and then uh, bear hunting here for a while too. Uh, pretty comfortable. Um, I, one thing that I'm going to be pretty stoked about is when I do actually get uh, something on the ground, which is nice, is this bag will detach here. I'm able to use the straps from the little big top, run it to the mainframe. And then I'm able to basically have, you've got your whole load shelf, because that's really what this thing's made for. It's made for hauling meat. Um, so hopefully um, I can put it to use uh, here in a couple weeks elk hunting. And I'll, you know, once I do that, I'll probably, if I put something on the ground, I'll shoot a video so that way you guys can see how I'm loading it up. Um, I may also on that hunt too, 
be trying to do a little bit more with like with the bat wings on this and I'll do a separate video uh, later showing you how I've got the bat wings set up um, I may end up getting the uh, sniper sc uh, scabbard also and so that way you can see the difference but if you were to uh, get one of our um, Highlander rifles it would fit easily down in here with a, with a normal scope um, the tall turrets may or may I think it may catch a little bit on this other side but if you're running like a normal um, low profile scope you're not going to have any issue uh, putting it in there uh, yeah thanks for uh, thanks for watching this if you guys like it hit subscribe and uh, share it as well. If you guys have any questions on any of the videos or any of the gear and things that I've done here, go ahead and reach out to me. It's, uh, you can reach out at Jared at Midwest Mountain Hunter or Midwest Mountain Hunter at gmail.com.